morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today is a balmy, beautiful summer's day. Joking. It's snowing. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's pure snow though. I said it's a balmy, beautiful summer's day. If this is summer, then I don't want summer. If this is summer, we don't want summer. Yeah, it's on your eyelash. Surprisingly, it's actually not too cold out, believe it or not. Technically, it is minus one degree. Minus one in May. Here, take that, please. All right, here, you take the puppies. Ponies. These are puppies? Ponies. I got puppies on the brain. You guys will not believe what happened last Don't night. Ask me what's you will not believe what happened to us last night. We had a scavenger. We had a horrible night. Listen, dude, you better be a nice boy. I do not give brain. Back it up. Thank you. Back it up. Look at all the poop you guys did. Oops. Okay, listen. Your owner says you have to have your ears. This is a part of knowing that we're the boss of you, Finny. It's going to happen for us to have a happy life. Good boy. Oh, Sophie, he was good. Okay, good boy. They're all fancy. Let him just at least start out slow. Well, he knows that he can't eat unless he doesn't pin his ears. All right, so basically... Oh, where are we painting? Because I'm not going outside. No, we're not going outside today. So basically... Last night, two nights ago, Gabby's puppy peed in her bed. Peed in her bed. Peed in her bed. So I had to wash everything. And then I'm like, okay, she can't sleep in here anymore. Obviously, she still needs more potty training. So we put her in the crate last night. How did it go? Bad. Really bad. Oh. I couldn't even get to sleep. That's yeah. why I'm so tired. Off and on, all night. All night. So tonight, we're going to try putting her with Ruby. I know it'll make all the difference. But that means but we're gonna have to switch. To sleep in her bed. Yeah, Ruby doesn't ever sleep in a crate. Where's Toby gonna go? Yeah, we have to switch some things around. It's gonna be difficult, but we're gonna have to do it because literally Sam's at work dead on his feet. We are all dead. I wish I didn't give up coffee. You're always dead? So we got on our, our painting pants. That's what we have on. All of our Those are not painting pants. What? These pants are very cold. Oh. Anyway, if we seem extra dead today, it is, Ru it is Molly's fault. Today, we are going to do a switcheroo, at least for the morning, because you guys know our boys don't have a shelter, and Storm does not like being in the field without a shelter in bad weather. So, we are going to do the switcheroo. We're going to put the ponies put in. in the field with the shelter. We're going to put, no, not yet. We're going to put the ponies in. The horses out in the arena area, so they can choose to go in and out. This will be like their big shelter for them. And then it will switch it around in the afternoon if it gets warmer, if it gets drier, probably oh, drier. Are we gonna paint? We're gonna paint inside. In here? Yeah, we're gonna put a tarp. Yeah, a tarp. Let's go look and see what Dad has. Dad hides all the good stuff. <laughs> Honestly, we could cut these open and use these bags, which is probably what we're gonna end up doing. We have lots of them. Bye. I feel like Sam was hiding something in here. He had all the... No dead bodies, no. What is this? Look, here's a blanket. Whoa. Oh my God. Oh. What was in that? We don't mess up dead stuff. You did that! <laughs> all right, you guys, we are mathematicians. I'm mostly me. <laughs> mostly me and mom, yeah. It was, it was a struggle. Like, people don't make it seem like painting poles is a lot of work. Basically, we had to measure our poles, design cool. the way we wanted the stripes to go, and it took us forever, basically. Yeah, it's cool. It's school. It is school. It's totally school. You have to do math. Yep. So, let's show you what it's going to be. This is going to be yellow, white, yellow, white, yellow. Doing yellow on the and end. they might not be perfectly yeah. measured because we didn't have a measuring tape. I like these ones. We just got a horse one. We had our our horse measuring tape that pretty much 
uh, tapes in hands, it measures in hands high, uh, in hands. but each hand is four inches, so we were able to figure it out pretty easy. But still, it was a struggle. So, I have a couple of tips to show you guys. We got the horses in the back. I just had to say that, they're having breakfast. And then we have the ponies in the front, and they're having breakfast. All right, it is super crowded in this little stall. Um, one of our tips and tricks for painting is to paint white over top of the tape. Just press it down, make sure it's extra sealed. So that the paint doesn't, so when you put the color on it, it doesn't leak through. Oh gosh, you're already leaking everywhere. Okay, color reveal. <gasps> it's gorgeous. Look at how pretty that is. This is gonna be a nice Guys, job. Are okay, patience, patience. I, I know, I don't have them, you don't get them for me. You get them because, you, you get no patience because I have no patience. Ruby has oh patience. Watch out, so. <gasps> oh, it's beautiful. Let's see what the red looks like. We'll see what the red one looks like when we get to red. Cute. Gorgeous. So, blue, white, blue, white, blue. That's See so how cool. there's like, the tape doesn't sit completely smooth? Uh, that's how you get leaks underneath there, so that's why we're gonna paint them white, so that well, our lines are kind of crisp. I miss it. What if I miss the tape, because it's white with the bowl, and I You're not going to. You're gonna be so good at this, Sophie. I know it. I know it. If you guys missed it, that's the yellow. Beautiful. Mom, can you move that? Uh, yeah. All right. Uh-oh. Okay. Sophie's gonna start in the safest spot and she's gonna put the first coat on while I wait for the white paint. Remember, tap it along the edge, tap it along the edge. Yeah. I can't do the underside yet. It's already looking good. I can't do the underside of this part. Hey, look, this is what you have to do. Watch. No, oh, oh watch. Look. You just ripped it look, away. you do this. This. Yeah. It's all it's almost the same color it was before, huh? All right, Gabby's gonna put the first dose of yellow on and we're gonna get a good look. Okay. I am kind of nervous. Do the first. Okay, do the middle first. There it goes. Oh my God, it looks good. It looks so good. Okay, so we're gonna leave these to dry in a few minutes as soon as we finish. It'll be a while actually, because Gabby's still going strong. Ruby, out of there. Um, I'm going to show you guys so far though, um, I think God was with me when I stood in line for an hour and picked out our colors because holy heck I love them. Like I didn't think I'd like the blue, but I love the blue, I love the yellow. So get ready, here we go. Oh, so, these are them. I know hunter colors are not bright colors like this, these are more jumper poles, but we don't care because we're not a professional barn, we just want beautiful poles. Right? Yeah. Gabby's doing underneath and the top on the same time. We're going to wait for our pole to dry and then I flip it. Yeah, so we have these two poles, and then we have to do two more poles, these colors, and then we have two poles that we're going to do red and white. Ouch, Ruby, what do you want? What is the matter? Are you hungry? Did you not eat breakfast yet? We're going to go. She's like, I wasn't planning on staying down here. This is a fun day of school, though. Yeah. Storm's like, what's happening? Did you tell Ruby to get down and she didn't listen? Send her here and I'll get her. Look, there's lots of hay. Well, there's not lots of hay. Holy moly. He ate it all already. So I have some, somewhere I have some spray varnish, like to go over it, some gloss to go over it so that it keeps the color. Which we're 100% gonna do. It took a lot of time and money to paint these pools, so I wanna protect them. Keep them. I think winter's almost over. Yeah, I tried to wipe it with my glove, but I don't know where it is on my glove. Uh, another so thing, I'm, I'm gonna get another thing of white paint, and we are going to go in the field one day and paint all of our standards white. When it's warmer. And I'm gonna get Sam to fix one of our standards. When it's warmer. Everything yeah. when it's warmer. Yeah. My, my, I can't feel When it's hands. warm. So, you guys might not know, but this weekend is the long weekend for us. It's, it's Victoria Day. Ruby. 
Here. Victoria Day is uh, when Queen Elizabeth, or it's when the Queen has her birthday on the May 24th weekend, and we get a long weekend. Traditionally, uh, Canadians go camping on the long May 24 weekend. It's the official start to our summer vacation. But, unfortunately, I checked the thing and it's supposed to rain Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, which is so annoying and terrible and horrible. I had plans to sleep in the trailer, 24 hours in the trailer next weekend, and all the parks are opening here, and so we had plans to go trail riding with Kaylee on the weekend, but I don't know, depending on what the weather's gonna be like, if we're gonna get to go. The weather's gonna be hot, but rain. Like a baby? No, in a second. It's only raining a little tiny bit right now. So we might put the horses outside. There's our lucky number seven standing in the door. Can you guys see him? I literally love that Storm has a number seven on his head. Like that's the coolest thing. Oh, there you are. Hello. Hello, handsome man. Are you guys ready for lunch? What's happening back there in the corner? Are you guys smooching? Hey, Finny. Finn's like, oh no. Do I have to get lunged again? Oh, he's coming. He's coming. Good boy, Finny. Oh, he's ready to brave Chino and Storm just to see me. Oh, he said you're a good boy. Don't get kicked, don't get kicked for me. Look, this is Storm and his posse. See how Storm's in the middle? And then his posse? I love Storm for so many reasons. I put this on Instagram last night and maybe Facebook as well. If you haven't, if you're not following us on Instagram or Facebook, you should because that's where all the new breaking news happens. But basically, Storm was rehomed the last two times because his owners did not think he was happy doing what they asked. One was doing dressage with him and they said that he did not like it, he complained, he fought back, he wasn't interested. Uh, the other one was doing Western Pleasure and the same thing, she, he did it for two years and he did not like it, he did not want to do it, he fought back, he didn't like it. And then he came to us and we got to the point after almost a year, uh, we got to a point after about a year and a half where he didn't really want to do what she wanted to do anymore because she changed. And the thing that was different for us is that we have three, we have, we have two other people that uh, need a horse like this. Storm is a babysitter horse, he's a beginner horse, he's worth his weight in gold and I am so grateful to have him and we recognize that and literally watch, there was a time when he used to, I used to watch him out there working with Gabby and I'd be like, oh my gosh, this horse is just horrible and I feel so bad that she could never do anything because he would always fight her. And, and now, when I watch him out there cantering away with her, I'm so grateful and so, and I think he's so perfect. Like, so many people reach out to me and say, I wish I had a horse like Storm to learn on because he doesn't have, he has so much good in him to teach. Like, 
the best thing about him, if I can canter Storm, anybody can canter. Like, I wish everybody had a horse like Storm to learn to canter on. No crazy, awful transitions where you do that fast trot before you get into the canter. Like, he just lifts up and goes, and it's like, it's amazing. So Gabby's over here eating her popcorn. So you guys gotta uh, throw hay, but we also have to lunge, right? What? The yellow is better, is that the blue? Um, oh my gosh. It is bright. I like them both. Like you can't, uh, okay. It's fully dry. That's you okay. No, 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 just leave it. Okay, comment below you guys. Which color do you like the best so far? That's the blue and white. And then this is the yellow and white. I think mine's better because I have more blue and more color. No, it's the same. All right, so. I'm gonna give these things another coat while the girls do the chores. We can't lunch outside right now, that's the ultimate goal, but it's just been raining and snowing all morning so the ground is really wet. Uh, you're gonna lunch Chino mm -hmm. in the arena? I'm stormy. You think you can in that small arena? We went from the not lunging, lunging family pinchers. to the major lunging family. I'm lunging pinchers. All right, so you'll have to lock the boys outside, throw them some hay, uh -huh. and then help Sophie get set up there. There's this huge phenomenon that's so bizarre. You think if you give your horses lots of food, they'll get grow big and strong and be fat if you give them lots of hay. If you give them lots of hay, they decide which stuff they want to pee and poop on and what stuff they eat. So they only ever eat so much hay, no matter how much you give oh, them. Oh, and got both bits. Oh, no. Both bits. It's just hair coming off. Is it just I'm hair? I'm taking all to see, but... Oh, it's okay, Finny. That's one that needs to be cleaned. Who did that? Probably Chino or Storm. That's, that's blood. Yeah. Yeah, but if your horse is I definitely do not like when horses get hurt. Especially on his dad. Yeah. Well, I guess it's good that he's uh, lunging for a while. Yeah. Poor boy. But that's, I don't think that that's where the saddle goes. It doesn't matter. We'll just let it heal up. It'll only take a few days. They probably want to go outside after this. Here. I used to think I had plenty of dreams and light in my life. So my glass was half empty. But you came along and showed me.
Sophie thinks Finn is lame. He's not looking like his normal trot. He's not looking like his normal trot? I love that the girls are learning to tell if a horse is lame or not. I'd rather think he's lame and check and make sure than just ignore Maybe your instinct. Work, yeah, you think he's back left? Yeah. So, I'm that way. so the let's look at him while Gabby's going to come and try and see what she thinks. Let's look at his legs though. The one that's further back, I think. This is the left, so. Oh, Make sure. Even though I don't know what I'm looking for, I do know what he looks like, so I know if he's got cuts or anything. He needs a good brush. This quite shouldn't affect him here. If it was back here more than. Well, let's take I, a look. Let's. Yeah, it could be that Sophie's just nervous because she's like me. We're far away from the city. So small under the night sky It's just us two but I don't mind You could never wear me out Even after all of these years You still look at me with the same love It's just us two but I don't mind You could never wear me out Definitely look sore to me, even I can see that. Gabby says it's not that, do you think it's not that bad? Not that bad. Gabby says it's not that bad, but I'm gonna send a video to Fiona and see what she says. So I guess we're taking turns. We're taking turns being lame, oh my goodness. Hold this, I need to put it back on. Okay, you're okay, Finny. My guess is something happened when he got the cut on his butt. If horses were smarter, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it past them to be like, I'll show them, lunge me every day, will they? I'll be lame. Mm -hmm. No heat in any part of from the hip down. It looked high up. Did it look high up to you guys? I don't even know. I don't know what I'm looking at, but it did look like he was dragging the whole leg. Everybody is saying the storm looked really good yesterday and we have found in the past the storm does like a break, but to be fair, she hasn't been riding him like she would if he was a school, if she was in the school taking lessons right now. So he hasn't been worked so super hard.
<laughs> She's like, I'm getting out of that stall. Gotta throw them a little more hay. I just can't stop looking at them. Like this, these are my dream jumps. So this side is done. Tomorrow we'll flip them. Cause some of the white. Well, it's like I'm ready. Yeah, I should redo the white, shouldn't I? A little. 